Hey beloveds, welcome to Beanie TV where I offer you sprinkles of spiritual sassiness. Thank you so much for tuning into to Thank you so much for tuning into today's episode. Today's gonna be like a free for all, you know? So um, you know what to do. Let's get into today's affirmation. Go ahead and close your eyes. Take a deep breath in. Release. I am divinely taken care of. I am divinely taken care of. I am divinely taken care of. Go ahead and take a deep breath in. Release. So, I know sometimes it feels like, what am I doing all this work for? Why am I doing all of this? What is the end goal? What's the end game? What is the point? Like, no one's noticing me. I'm not feeling good. Like, this just sucks. Like, I just want to stop. And it's like, nothing wrong with taking breaks, but you can't stop what God has put on your heart because either way it's going to get out and whether it's through you whether it's going to be through you or through someone else what God said needs to happen in this earth is going to get out it's going to be released into the atmosphere wouldn't it rather be you though wouldn't you rather it be you um you have to know that you have to just keep working keep doing it keep going because your time is coming your blessings are coming the things that you've prayed for are coming the things that you the seeds that you have planted are growing and they're sprouting and they're reaching the surface and they are coming okay and god just wants you to know that like every it's it's done everything that you're wishing for everything that you're hoping for everything that you're wanting it's done it's there for you it's not a, so much about asking for it asking for it asking for it it's more about get things out of my way that are blocking me towards it keep me in alignment with what you are presently doing in my life asking god for clarity asking god to order your steps and for you to actually follow the steps that he has ordered for you so it's not so much about god make this happen make this happen because it's already done you have to do your part so you have to make sure that you are praying accordingly you have to make sure that you are doing your work and you just have to make sure that you stay believing because i know that it can be hard especially when you have such a daunting big calling on your life or a big um you have a big purpose like it can feel very very daunting um but you just have to keep believing and hope right it says that God has given us a future and a hope. God is not going to do anything bad to us or wrong to us. God is going to give us a future and a hope. And we have to like stay focused on that scripture. Like God has given me a future and a hope. God is not going to hurt me or anything like that. And you just have to hold on to the hope that what you know in your heart, which was planted by him, will come to pass and it will happen for you. And honestly what's been helping me is taking it one day literally one day at a time and just knowing that i can only do what i can do today and if today is not a good day today's not a strong day mentally then today's just not a strong day mentally um i'm starting to like just let it be rather than trying to fight it like if i'm having just a mentally bad day um I'll do what I can to be more like up and optimistic, but I won't fight it, right? Like, because honestly, it's like, it's just tug of war on your mind, right? Like everything happens up here. As a man thinketh, so is he, okay? Everything happens up here. God says, I'm making you a new person by renewing your mind, changing your thoughts. So the battle is in here. Sometimes you lose the battle sometimes you like win the battle but all you can do is take it one day at a time one thought at a time and doing your best to just keep the faith keep the hope because what you're asking for is already done it's done i look like i'm wearing a robe like why did i buy this sweater i got this sweater on sale at zara for like 10 bucks like why did i buy it like i think it's cute in person but it's not it's coming off as a kimono on camera and that's that's cool kimonos are cool but not here now on me 
so sorry <laughs> sorry y'all okay so I do hope that you understand what I'm saying. God just wants you to know that what you are asking for is done. Stop asking for that thing. Continue to just do, ask him to show you what work you need to do. Ask God to show you um, what, open up your spiritual eyes to see what he's doing right now in the present moment so that you can be in alignment with what is going on in the present god is in the past god is in the future god is in the present god is everywhere all the time from here to outer space to the depths of space we have not even discovered that is the vastness of god so god loves you so much that he's he's making he's monitoring what's happening galaxies away and monitoring what's going on with you so when you're feeling frustrated tell god god already knows your feelings anyway so you might as well be like yo god i'm pissed off god i'm mad god i'm frustrated god this person is annoying god this god that let the your creator who created you know what's up and what's really good it's okay you don't have to sit here and be like lord i just want to thank you for today Lord, you woke me up. No, God created you as a human. This lifetime, you're a human. You're not a plant, okay? You're not a plant this lifetime. You're a human, so you can express yourself. You have the capabilities and the capacity to express yourself. Why wouldn't you express your human frustrations to the all-knowing, all-seeing God so that he can calm your ass down? There's times where I am like bawling, crying, so mad, so upset, wishing this was different, wishing that was different. And then I just cry out and I just say, Jesus, help me. Jesus, shine your light on me. Jesus, please, like, help me. Be with me right now. Give me, give me, comfort me. And then moments later, y'all, I will be still crying, <laughs> but not as distraught. Like, literally, like, sometimes I really feel like Jesus just wraps his big brother arms around me. And he's like, yo, you're okay. And I feel like I lean in and I feel like everything is better. You know, so call and cry and complain to the Lord. He he knows what you're feeling anyway. There's nothing to be ashamed of. Um, and just know that as you're going through your journey, that continue to ask him to take things out of out of line, out of your way that are blocking you. Anything that's toxic, anything that's lukewarm, anything that's just not fitting for you, ask him to take it away and watch it, watch it vanish. And it's gonna hurt when things vanish, and people vanish, it's going to fucking hurt. But you have to know that you prayed that prayer. And because you prayed that prayer, it is. It is. And so it is. Um, I really hope you guys understand that what you are asking for is done. Ask for steps to be ordered. Ask for him to open up your spiritual eyes. Ask for him to take out every toxic person that is blocking your blessings. That's what you need to ask for. Thank you for coming to my sermon TED talk. <laughs> um, so let's go ahead and end this video with a prayer. Go ahead and close your eyes. Bow your heads if you feel like it. If you don't, whatever. It's cool with me. I know it's cool with the Lord. Father God, I thank you so much that what you just spoke through me hit the hearts of the people that it needed to hit. God, I thank you for bestowing upon every single person that is watching this newness, clarity, fearlessness as they go about their purpose and their calling and their journey, God. You know that being a human is hard, but you've also given us the tools, the grace, the favor, the blessing and abundance that we need to assist us on this journey. We are here for you, God, so use us. Use us, God. Amen, amen, amen. I was feeling, oh my God. I forgot I was even shooting a YouTube video. I, <laughs> I got stuck in the spirit. Okay, guys, leave comments below. What are you feeling? What are you thinking? What are you thinking about what we just said? Let me know in the comments below. Be sure to keep those notifications on so that you can know when I upload a video. And um, be sure to give this video a thumbs up so that more people can hear this message and receive this message and feel free to share this message. Thank you guys so much for tuning in. I love you and I thank you guys for tuning in. Peace.